everybody, Mitzi Dela Cruz. We are here with Lincoln Live, and today we have some very special guests. We've got Sue Martin and Tim Martin with Eagle Plumbing, and we are going to talk about a variety of things, including their incredible Lincoln-based business. Um, and on top of that, we're gonna talk about some hot topics in the plumbing industry, like high-tech plumbing. So, um, Sue, will you start off by telling us a little bit about yourself and the history of Eagle Plumbing? Yeah, well, Tim and I have been married going on 27 years. We actually moved from Loomis over here to Lincoln, so we didn't move that far. And we, about 12 years ago, decided um, that my grandmother lived with us. She became 24-hour care, and I needed to be with her because in my world, family first, always. That's right. And so um, I quit my state job to take care of my grandmother, to homeschool my youngest son, and to babysit my grandson, who's now 15. And so we couldn't live on one income because Tim was working for the other guy then, and he always wanted to open a business, and I was like, no, no, no. And he convinced me of it, so I took out, my, I actually withdrew my retirement, oh. bought a van, bought a cl drain cleaning machine, and we started Eagle Plumbing. And it was really scary because the first, the first six months we made eighteen hundred dollars, oh. and I was like, "That's it, we're done." <laughs> and the next six months we made eighty four thousand. Oh wow! So we decided to try it out another year, yeah. and it's still, and we're still here and enjoying it. So, so I think one of the things that sets your business apart is the fact that you guys have such exceptional customer service. I know personally I've called you for your 24-hour um, emergency service, which I hope you guys are all putting this phone number into your phone right now so that you have uh, coverage around the clock if you ever need anything. Um, and just the way that uh, you guys treat me as a client, as a customer, and then the way that you guys treat my clients and my business has just been phenomenal. So for me, it's a, it's a no-brainer. I have a, a plumbing issue, whether it's in Lincoln or a neighboring community, and I call you guys right off the bat. Uh, and we Thank so you. appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> and it's, it's nice to get out there because we grocery shop with everyone here. So right. You can't very well be not nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And people hug you, so we do our best. That's right. <laughs> and we're a family here at Eagle Plumbing, so that's what we train we actually we actually base all of our training on Walt Disney's concept. I love that. So because he's so successful, it's got to work everywhere else. So that's that's what we do with our staff is we we train them on the concept of, of everybody is family. That's right. That's right. So Tim, can you tell us about the services that you guys offer here? Absolutely, we're very diversified, um, and not only is it just uh, drain cleanings and whatnot, but uh, we can do commercial plumbing. Uh, repipe houses, um, anything and everything. We're uh, um, well versed in plumbing. I've been plumbing myself for approximately 38 years. So um, we know quite a bit. Uh, I train my guys every Tuesday. We go through training meetings here and uh, uh, we're just uh, well versed in plumbing. So we've got lots of equipment over there um, from uh, the big drain cleaning machines, hydro jetting, to uh, closet augers, um, you name it, and we can take care of it, leaky faucets. Um, Anything to do with water or gas. Yes, Eagle Plumbing absolutely. does. You know, and, and can I add, uh, you guys also do some septic work too. Can you talk about that? Uh, somewhat of septic work, yeah. Uh, we don't replace leach fields, um, but yeah, we can, uh, we can take care of a lot of derooting when it comes to septic systems. Uh, we do deal with, uh, here in Lincoln, there's a lot of rural areas, mm -hmm. so we do deal with a lot of wells, the upper ends of wells. We'll deal with pressure dose systems when it comes down to it. Uh, we do deal with um, um, leach lines as far as uh, the lines going out of the tanks to the diversion boxes if they have problems. Uh, we're well versed in diagnosing what goes on with septic tanks. Uh, so if you do got septic tank issues, give us a call. We'll come on out and we'll take a look and see what we can do to solve them problems too. Perfect. Absolutely. So, and we don't charge to come out. Yeah. That, that's that's yeah. an important thing everyone thinks we do. We do not charge to come out. We only charge when we turn a wrench. 
And, you know, that's been incredible for me because, you know, even here recently we had a situation where I needed you guys out and I needed you out right away. And so you guys were able to come out and take care of my clients. And that was, that was awesome. Pre-estimates. Yes. Absolutely. Even after hours. Yes, yeah, we absolutely. don't charge any extra for it, it, there's no charge for after hours holidays or weekends it's all the same no matter what time of the day you call so how many trucks do you guys have now how many guys do you have at this point we have eight vans um, and we, two trucks two trucks yeah okay. we, uh, we employ approximately 16 people at this point and we're always looking for more people um, it's a very busy field when it comes down to it uh, at some point in almost everybody's life, you need a plumber. Sure. Uh, unfortunately, it is what it is. So. <laughs> and we're actually looking right now to hire five to eight more people. So if you're interested in picking up what plumbing has to offer, come on into the shop. We're at 110 Flokini Circle, Suite 800, down at the end, um, behind by RCO and behind Caliber Collusion. No experience necessary. Mm -hmm. We'll put you through an apprenticeship. Um, and we're also looking for very experienced people too. Uh, we do like to have journeyman plumbers come on board. So uh, please give us a call. That's awesome. Okay. I didn't realize you trained too. Yes, absolutely. That's every Tuesday. Absolutely. Awesome. So one of the hot topics that we've seen a lot, and I know you and I have had extensive discussions about this, is that um, you know this Kitek plumbing issue, right? It's kind of like this big thorn in our sides in the real estate industry, and so. Prior to, um, prior to now, where it's kind of becoming a, a citywide issue, it's actually been an issue for quite a, couple, a few years, right, in the Sun City uh, area. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, almost, uh, almost since day one, Kitech has kind of been an issue. Uh, between 1995 and 2007, uh, this product was manufactured, um, and it's a, it's a polyethylene pipe. Uh, almost all uh, pipe now that they're installing in homes is polyethylene, but this is the one and only pipe that they made in three layers. It's plastic, aluminum, plastic. Uh, it's been under a class action lawsuit now uh, for quite a many years. Unfortunately, uh, the residents here in Lincoln and in Northern California are just now really getting educated on it within right. the past couple years. Uh, um, the lawsuit has been out for quite a while, but we're just now really getting familiar with it here. Plumbers have known about it for quite some time. Um, but as you can see from this piece of pipe, it's been jeopardized, it's all blistered up. And if you can get a close up of the end of this pipe, you can see that it's actually plastic, aluminum, plastic. But if you have any orange pipe in your home whatsoever, this is Kitek pipe. Um, it was manufactured in Canada, the pipe itself, the fittings, are what are under the class action lawsuit. The fittings were, are, are 360, they call it 360 yellow brass. Uh, the alkaline content in the water eats right through these fittings. All of them down in the southern states, Las Vegas, uh, especially the Las Vegas area, have been eaten through already. They have all been repiped. All the homes down there have been 100% repiped. Um, and the, the same exact fittings that are down there are here. And uh, we repipe houses consistently because of this. The alkaline content in the water up here is not nearly as harsh as the, uh, the alkaline content in the water that is down there. The, the damage is gonna start occurring up here. If you go on YouTube and you start researching YouTube or do any internet research, you will see what a tremendous problem this is. And it goes all the way from the southern states all the way up through Canada. Right at this point in time, they are jackhammering up slabs because of radiant heating and floor. They're removing this product because uh, the fittings are bursting all over the place. Uh, the pipe is going through the delamination that you can see right here. Um, just a tremendous nuisance. Out of all the products that have ever been put out in the plumbing industry, this is the one product that I have seen fail quicker than anything else that is there. Um, there is also blue pipe that you're gonna see up in your attics and sometimes it's plumbed underneath the slabs of your house. But 
don't mistake blue pipe because there's also other blue pipe that is going to be in your house that is not high tech. There's PEX pipe, just normal, everyday polyethylene pipe in your house. That is PEX. That is not Kitec pipe. So if you're seeing blue pipe in your house, once again, do not mistake it for Kitec pipe. You have to look on the pipe itself and find the words Kitec, K-I-T-E-C, to make sure that it definitely is Kitec pipe. But the one true tail sign is orange pipe. Once again, there is no other orange pipe that is out there that is, uh, there's, it's Kitec, one and only Kitec. So, um, the th and the thing with Kitec is, it's not if it's going to go out; it's when it's going to go out. It definitely will fail, guaranteed. It is going to fail. Um, so, what would a homeowner? What would you suggest that they do if they either a have identified that their home does have this piping in it, or b they suspect that it might, based off the time the house was built? What should they do? Should they call should, us? We'll okay. come out, we'll check it out, we'll see if it's Kitec or not. And if you're interested in repiping, which I suggest you do because we've had customers that have actually had their ceilings fall through into their house because of the Kitec. Um, can, we'll give you a free estimate on what it'll cost. You can go on to uh, the internet and you can type in kitecsettlement.com. Uh, you can still get involved in a class action lawsuit. Um, I don't know much about that, but I don't think there's much left there. Right. I do know that if you have an immediate failure in your pipe, that you're going to go up to the top of the list. Whereas if you don't have a failure in, the, in your pipe and you are getting a repipe in your house, you will get on the list, but you go to the back of the list. Once again, I don't think there's going to be a lot left there on that repipe because I do know all the southern states have pretty much gobbled up all the money. Yeah, it's my understanding that they're out of money. Are they? Yeah. yeah. We knew it was coming. Yeah. So um, I know for, for us, and the reason why we've had this conversation so many times is because um, the home inspectors I work with, as soon as they identify that, you know, this home's been built within this time period, they'll get up in the attic, they identify the Kitec plumbing, and then my next call is to you to get an estimate. And number one, the reason why I call you guys um, up, over and above the customer service and, and the level of... Um, uh, care that you take care of my clients is also because of the fact that you guys actually have the lowest prices and I don't get any special prices for being a, a frequent flyer or anything like that is <laughs> everybody gets the same pricing so um, so I know we you guys are actually right in the middle of, of re, uh, piping a house that I just sold right and uh, I mean you guys are still working on it today I know you started what on Monday or maybe you guys are done I don't know I'm not, I'm not sure where we stand on that. Yeah, I think that might be the one we finished today. Oh, great. We just okay. finished one today. I, I just about 20, about 20 minutes before you came, they said we had just finished one. I think that might be it. That's awesome. We're not greedy people, and we take pride in being able to uh, keep our price as low as we possibly can. So. Well, and I going? would say, and you're, you're better off knowing this than I would, but my understanding is the homeowner insurance uh -huh. companies are not insuring when you're selling or or get buying, well, when you're buying, they're yeah. not insuring houses that have high tech in it. So I'm glad that you mentioned that because that's one of the things I wanted to talk about. Um, so this specific family that I'm referring to, um, they had actually, as soon as we identified that there was high tech plumbing, they called their homeowner's insurance carrier um, and asked if this was something that was gonna be covered. And uh, they said, no, they would not cover, they wouldn't even cover the house. Uh, with the Kitec plumbing in the house. So, um, so you know, that's something to consider too. And I know this is probably going to be bad news for a lot of you guys out there that don't realize that your home might have this, this plumbing in it. Um, but, it, you know, it's all about educating you as a homeowner. And um, the truth is, you know, once, like Sue said, once the plumbing fails and then you've got uh, damage to the home, a lot of times that won't be covered. Maybe the, the homeowner's insurance uh, company will cover the damage, but not the piping itself or anything like that. So. Correct. You know, and again, I don't, I don't write uh, insurance policies, so certainly check with your, uh, your homeowner's insurance company about that. But, um, but you guys have actually seen firsthand how catastrophic this can be to, to a, a homeowner 
thousands, well, th tens of thousands of dollars of damage in some houses up in Sun City. It, yeah. Usually it's not really a burst pipe. Normally what we see is a very, very slow leak. And the very slow leaks are usually the worst because they're going to create lots of mold and lots of buckled floors and major water damage inside the walls. But people so, are becoming educated in it now. Yeah. And so they're knowing to get it done, you know, before it happens. Right. But when it first came out, uh, we had one customer that she, her, her living room roof fell through on all of her furniture, oh, beautiful oh. furniture, and the, and she just wanted it repaired, and we didn't know a lot about it, so we repaired it then. We don't repair it now. Right. But we did, we did repair it back then, and then about six months later, her bathroom ceiling fell through. So, it's, it's a bad thing. It, it's not a good thing. Yeah. So what do you guys use to replace it with? Or, or what is that? Because I know um, if it's running through like the slab, you guys have kind of a process for that, right? Yeah, basically if it's running through the slab, no matter what, the house has to be repiped to overhead. So uh, we replace with a product called Wurzbow. It's manufactured by a company called Hoopener. Uh, it's warranted for 25 years. Um, not only is, the, is uh, the material warranted for 25 years, but we also provide a 25 year warranty on the craftsmanship also. So uh, it's a good product. There's three classifications of polyethylene pi uh, pipe. There's A, B, and C. C being the worst, A being the best. It is an A uh, product. Uh, you could cap both ends of this pipe and put water in it and put it in your freezer. It would freeze, it would expand. You could pull it back out. It will always retain its shape so it'll shrink back down. Um, it's a memory pipe. It's a very good pipe to use. Gotcha. So, or we could repipe it in, co in copper pipe, but it's going to be a lot more expensive a to do things expensive. that way. Yeah. Um, it's better to go with the oop and it's, it's less expensive. Yeah, the industry has basically gotten away from copper. Sure. So do we have any questions? Has anybody um, commented, question, any, any questions at this point? Or? Um, not at this moment currently. Okay. All right. Um, well, was there anything else you guys wanted to talk about today or any final thoughts? Um, no, we just want to thank you for <laughs> having us on your show. It's, we're excited. We're, <laughs> thank you guys. We're excited to be here. <laughs> nervous, <laughs> nervous, but excited. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to be nervous about. I'm sure everybody really appreciates the information. And um, I know Lincoln loves you guys. I know you guys love Lincoln too. It's, we do love Lincoln. Yes. It's so cool it's to home. see that. Lincoln's home. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Lincoln. Yeah. Thank you, Lincoln. We appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate you voting for us. Best of the best for all these years. Thank you. Oh, yeah. So voting starts uh, here in about a week. May 1st, the polls will open up. So uh, best of the best. <laughs> we hope so. We don't push it. Okay. I want to know we really earned yes, it. Absolutely. I get mad at my staff when they tell people to vote for us. It's like, no, don't. Okay. <laughs> well, never mind. I'll I mean, vote if you, for them if, if you, you want to. Exactly. That's exactly. <laughs> exactly. If you think we deserve it, vote for us. If you don't, then don't. <laughs> no, I hear you. I totally hear you. I want to know it was legitimate or else there's a problem with the business if we have to ask people to vote. That's but right. feel free to call us with plumbing questions. We're always here. Okay, and that's 916-645-2500. Uh, Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll be back next week with another exciting interview, which we will announce uh, a little later on in the week. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.